Hello everyone and welcome inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. I'm Chris Cox and tonight your Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm are taking on the 18th ranked Oklahoma Baptist Bison. Southern Nazarene comes into tonight's match four and six on the year. They have lost their five of their last six matches, including their last three in a row. OBU, they enter tonight's match eight and two on the year. They're winners of, their, of eight of their last nine. But upsets can happen, and you can guarantee that SNU coach Kevin Ingram will have his storm focused and ready to play tonight. Last time out, Southern Nazarene fell to Southeastern three sets to two. In that match, Southern Nazarene fought hard to get it to that fifth set, but they were unfortunately unable to claim any momentum in the fifth. Southeastern jumped all over the Crimson Storm, scoring eight of the first ten points in the set. A timeout from head coach Kevin Ingram would calm his team down as they responded with three straight points, but Southeastern came back with a string of four straight points, including three straight service aces. Holding a 12-5 advantage, the, uh, the Crimson Storm would cruise through the, or excuse me, the uh, Savage Storm of Southeastern would cruise through the remainder of the fifth set as they went on to win 15-9. Now, despite the loss, the Crimson Storm did a lot of good things in that loss. Brecken Myers, she moved the ball all over the court, dishing out 46 assists, which was just two off her career high of 48. Myers got multiple teammates involved, leading to four different Storm players with double-digit kills. Sunny Bachelet had a game-high 16 kills, matching her career high. Megan Ellis and Bailey Grimes each tallied 11 kills, while Whitney Bowie was not far behind with 10 kills. Logan Matthews was the defensive leader for the Crimson Storm, tallying a season-high 22 digs. The last time the Bison were on the court, they swept Northwestern Oklahoma State three sets to none. Tania Brown led the Bison with 13 kills and six block assists. And coming off that effort, Brown was actually named the Great American Conference's co-offensive player of the week for last week. In OBU's wins over East Central and Northwestern last week, Brown averaged 3.83 kills per set and hit 405. I'm going to take a break. When I come back, I'll break down tonight's matchup a bit further. This is Southern Nazarene Vo Volleyball on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. Tonight, the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm host the 18th-ranked Oklahoma Baptist Bison. Now, the Crimson Storm, they have their work cut out for, for them tonight as the Bison come in as arguably the top offensive team in the Great American Conference. The Bison lead the GAC in hitting percentage at 263. Bison are also second in kills and second in assists in the Great American Conference. Defensively, the Bison, they're almost just as strong as they are on the offensive side of things. OBU is tied for second in blocks per set, their third in opponent's hitting percentage. Now, where OBU has struggled a bit is in the uh, dig category. They're tenth in digs per set. Now, to combat that offensive strength, the, the Storm, they're going to need to play good defense tonight. Southern Nazarene, they've struggled a bit defensively, especially as of late. The Storm are tenth in blocks. They're 11th in opponent hitting percentage and eighth in digs. So the Storm, they'll likely need to play above their averages tonight to give themselves their best chance at a victory. So again, these two teams are... Uh, are uh, OBU especially one of the best teams in the Great American Conference and right now if you look at the conference standings OBU actually comes in third in the conference at a 2 and 1 in GAC play they do have the best overall record at 8 and 2 but the 2 and 1 record trails Arkansas Tech and Harding both of whom are undefeated in GAC play Southern Nazarene they come into this game 4 and 6 in GAC play they are a second from the bottom trail uh, with uh, Southern Arkansas the other 0 and 3 team in GAC play 
So to go along with uh, playing some solid defense tonight for Southern Nazarene, the uh, Crimson Storm, they're also going to need to maximize their offensive possessions. Now when the Storm, when they get a chance to kill the point, they need to convert. You cannot give OBU multiple chances to uh, to get into a point, so when you have a chance to kill it, the, the Storm, they need to make sure that that kill is a successful one. Southern Nazarene, they, uh, as I said, need to maximize those offensive possessions against Southeastern. The Crimson Storm didn't really do that. They uh, committed 27 errors while they were on the attack, and the Crimson Storm will need to be a little bit more efficient on the attack tonight. Another interesting feature of this match, it features two of the longest tenured coaches in the Great American Conference. I would imagine they are the two longest tenured coaches, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Southern Nazarene head coach Kevin Ingram, he's in his 21st year leading the Crimson Storm, and he's compiled an overall record of 406 wins to 308 losses. His OBU counterpart, Anna Howell, she's in her 14th year leading the Bison, and she has an overall record of 340 wins to 140 losses. So two very capable coaches tonight, very good coaches tonight who uh, are bound to have their, their two teams ready and set for what's always a, a very fun Great American Conference matchup. These two teams actually go way back to even before the Great American Conference, back when they were in, in, in the NAIA and members of the Sooner Athletic Conference. Of course, I don't think either team had volleyball back then, but they, uh, or Southern Nazarene had volleyball back then, but OBU did not. So it was a uh, not a volleyball rivalry as much as it was a basketball and other sport rivalry back in NAIA, but that rivalry has now carried up to Division II and the Great American Conference since each school made the jump up a level. Looking at the series notes, Southern Nazarene, they uh, they dominated the uh, series kind of in the, actually it was OBU who dominated the series early. They won the first 12 matchups between these two schools, but the series tightened up, has tightened up over the last five years. The Bison lead just 7-4 to four since 2016 after winning the last three consecutive matches against Southern Nazarene. The, uh, the Bison lead the overall series. 18 to 4 and like I said Oklahoma Baptist has won three straight in the series just to keep you all informed of what's coming up next uh, for Southern Nazarene the uh, Crimson Storm will be on the road on the 30th that is Thursday they will be taking on southwestern Oklahoma State out in Weatherford our next broadcast here on the Crimson Storm Sports Network that'll be October 5th when they host Cameron out in Lawton for a, a non-conference matchup so again, it should be a good matchup for you tonight between the 4-6 and six Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm and the 8-2 and two OBU Bison. I'm going to take another break. When I come back, I'll have your starting lineups. This is Crimson Storm Volleyball on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. Getting set to bring you some Great American Conference volleyball action for you tonight as your Crimson Storm gets set to take on the Oklahoma Baptist Bison. Southern Nazarene comes into tonight's match 4-6 and six on the year. OBU comes into tonight's match 8-2 and two on the year. They're also ranked 18th in the nation according to the latest AVCA Division II Volleyball Poll. I'm going to take one more break for the uh, National Anthem, and then I'll be back with the starting lineups and your first serve. This is Crimson Storm Volleyball on the Crimson Storm Sports Network.
Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene as your Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm gets set to take on the Oklahoma Baptist Bison and a little bit of Great American Conference volleyball action. Let's go ahead and take a look at those starting lineups for you. First off, for the visitors from Oklahoma Baptist, a 5'8 junior, number two, Tanea Brown. A 5'10 senior, number three, Malia Leatherland. A 5'9 sophomore, number five, Taryn Weber, as they just turned out the lights on me. A 6'1 uh, sophomore, number 14, Avery Helmuth. A 6'2 junior, number 18, Audrey Poupard. And a 5'9 senior, number 19, Kaylee Buell. Libero for Oklahoma Baptist is number 10, Diana Carranza. Head coach for, for the Oklahoma Baptist Bison is Anna Howell. She is in her 14th season, and she has compiled a record of 340 and 140. That's 340 wins to 140 losses. Let's go ahead and take a look at those starting lineups now for your Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm. At a 5'10 junior from Lawton, Oklahoma, number four, Gracie Miracle. A 6'3 sophomore from Ponca City, number seven, Sunny Bachelet. A 5'8 senior from Hereford, Texas, number eight, Megan Ellis. A 5'9 sophomore from Rose Hill, Kansas, number nine, Brecken Myers. A 5'10 junior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, number 11, Bailey Grimes. And a 6'1 freshman from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number 17, Whitney Bowie. Lavero Fort Southern Nazarene is number 10, Madeline Lynch. She's a 5'8 sophomore from Stillwater. Head coach of the Crimson Storm is Kevin Ingram. He's in his 21st season leading the Crimson Storm. He has an overall record of 406 wins to 308 losses. So those are the starting lineups for you. As I mentioned, it's uh, two of the most successful coaches in the Great American Conference and longest tenured coaches in the Great American Conference with Ingram and Howell leading their respective squads. Both of these teams trying to uh, get in the win column here tonight. Southern Nazarene trying to get in the win column for the first time in three games. ODU has been in the win column of late, winning two in a row and eight of their last nine. Getting set for that opening serve now. As both teams are out on the floor, the officials making sure everybody is all set like they need to be. And OBU gets to go ahead from the umpire, and uh, Deanna Carranza will check in as the libero. And now Southern Nazarene getting looked at by the officials, and they get the okay. And now number 10, Madeline Lynch, will check in as the libero for Southern Nazarene. And now we are set for the first serve. It will be Oklahoma Baptist serving first. They are serving from left to right here in this set. And it will be Malia Leveland to serve for the Bison. Leveland, a long jump serve. Dug out by Lynch. Set up. It's Myers with it. And there's... Bachelet with the attack. That attack is dug out by Oklahoma Baptist. There's Brown. Brown with the free ball. Over to Southern Nazarene for the set. And there is a nice kill. Bailey Grimes, a nice little tap shot right over the block, the blocking arms of Tania Brown. Brown went for the block, but a good job by Grimes just to kind of poke it over her and not try to go for the hard kill right there. Grace Miracle to serve for the Storm. Miracle with the serve. That serve barely clearing the net, but getting over. Dug out by OBU, and there's the kill by Brown, and Brown's kill hits the back line, and we are all tied now at one apiece. Carranza headed back for OBU to serve. Carranza's serve is up. Dug out by the Storm. Now dug out by Carranza. There's Poupard with the attack, and Poupard's attack is good. A correction, that was Avery Helmuth with the attack that time, and Helmuth was able to get the attack to go. Carranza to serve. Carranza's serve is up, and it is out of bounds. That will be a point for Southern Nazarene, and it ties it up at two apiece. Back to serve for the Storm, number 10, Madeline Lynch. And Lynch's serve is up. It's a high rainbow serve dug out 
by OBU. There's Weber with the attack. Weber's attack is a good one as it goes off of one of the Southern Nazarene players for the point. That was Grace Miracle who could not handle the attack by Weber there. And it will lead to the OBU point. Back to serve for OBU is Ryan Moore. Moore serve is up. Dug out by OBU. Here's Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack is a good one as it will be a point for Southern Nazarene. A nice kill right there by Bachelet. She put it at the feet of Leatherland. Leatherland could not dig it out. And it will be Southern Nazarene point. Back to serve for the storm number one, Logan Matthews. Matthews taking a while here. Now her serve is up. Goes cross court. Dug out by OBU. Here's Weber with the attack. Weather's attack is blocked by OBU. Dug out. Or blocked by Southern Nazarene. Dug out by OBU. Back to Weber. Her attack again. Dug out. And now here's an attack by the Storm. And that one's dug over by OBU. We have a double hit violation on, on OBU as Coach Anna Howell is going to argue that call. Karen Weber, who was called for the double hit, they are, or she was pleading her case saying she only hit it once. And now Leatherland will go over and talk to the head umpire. As OBU still trying to argue their case, but all for not, it will be Southern Nazarene point as the Crimson Storm lead this first set four to three. Matthews serving. Matthews serve is up. Matthews serve dug out by Leatherland. That's tipped over by Buell. Buell dug out though by Southern Nazarene. There's the attack by Whitney Bowie, and Whitney Bowie gets the kill. A nice play right there by Whitney Bowie. Throwing a little bit of a change up there, not in terms of how hard she hit it. She hit it really hard, but going on the second hit instead of the traditional third. Matthews to serve again. She's won two straight points. There's the serve. A nice low serve dug out there by OBU. Weber's attack is going to be out of bounds, and it will be another Southern Nazarene point. Three straight here for the Crimson Storm and Logan Matthews. Matthews back to serve again. She's had three really good serves. See if she can keep it alive. Matthews serve is up. And that one will carry too far out of bounds. OBU with the point. So Bison headed back to serve. And it will be number eight, Kaylin Ina. Ina serve is up, and it's dug out. There's Myers with the set, and that is Ellis with the attack. That t attack is dug out by OBU. Leatherland's attack is dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis again. Ellis with a little poop shot over the net. That one's dug out, and here's an attack by Helmuth, and Helmuth's attack is a good one as it goes off the outstretched arms of Whitney Bowie. Bowie was trying to go for the block. It deflected off the side of her hand out of bounds, so it will be OBU's points. 6-5 to five to score in favor of Southern Nazarene. Ina serving. Ina served. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the set. There's Bachelet. Actually, that's Bowie with the attack. And Bowie's attack is a good one as it deflects off a, uh, an OBU player. And Bowie gets the kill. Southern Nazarene gets the point. And they are back up by two here in this first set. 7-5. to five. Megan Ellis to serve over in that far corner. Getting the call from head coach Kevin Ingram. Ellis' serve is up. Dug out by OBU. Here's Helmuth with the attack. Helmuth's attack is dug out. Tried to, it, Ellis tried to dig it out. Just couldn't quite get underneath enough. And the ball went out of bounds. So it will be OBU point. And the Bison bring it back within one. Helmuth to serve. Helmuth to serve. And dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the set by Myers. Myers actually poked it over the net. Now OBU quickly back over. There's Bowie with the attack. And Bowie's attack is just out of bounds. So the point will go to OBU. That was a smart shot by Bowie right there to try to kind of flick it over 
and around the uh, arms of the blockers on the front line for OBU. Unfortunately, just put too much on it and sent it out of bounds. Helma served, dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Myers. Myers over to Miracle, and Miracle's kill is blocked by OBU, and it will fall for Bison Point. OBU now with three straight points, including two on the serve by Helmuth. Helmuth serve, dug out by OBU. There's Myers with the set. Myers set to Bowie, and Bowie is able to get it to go. As Bowie, again, a nice little touch shot. Southern Nazarene showing some, showing some nice finesse on some of those kill attempts instead of going for the hard spike every time. Sometimes just knowing that a little bit of a soft poke over the net will work just as well. Serve dug out by OBU, Leveland with the attack, Leveland's attack, hurt. she puts up one of the little poke shots and she's able to get it over the outstretched arms of the SNU front line. Back to serve for the Bison is Kaylee Buell. OBU leading this first set 9-8. Buell serve is up, Buell serve. It is a good one dug out by Southern Nazarene. Now. OBU on the attack, it's Brown with the attack, dug out by the Storm. Over now far side for Grimes, Grimes attack is dug out by OBU, there's Leatherland's attack, Leatherland's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Ellis, Ellis her attack though dug out, and Poupard with the attack, and Poupard's attack is a good one. 10 to 8 now the score in favor of OBU. Buell serving, Buell serve, a high arcing serve, dug out though by Southern Nazarene, Myers with the set, and there's the attack by Miracle, and Miracle is able to get the kill. A nice job by Miracle, as she was able to get the kill to bring Southern Nazarene back within one and give them the serve. Reckon Myers to serve. Myers serve is up, dug out by Rutherland, over to Buell, Buell with the set, Brown with the attack, Brown's attack is blocked and dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Myers, Myers to Bachelet, Bachelet's attack is dug out by OBU. Back to Myers, Myers back to Bachelet, and Bachelet's attack is blocked by Poupard, and it will be OBU's point. Southern Nazarene had, I believe, three opportunities there to get the kill. Unfortunately, could not get it any of those three times, and that's what I was talking about in the pregame, about maximizing those kill attempts. You've got to make those chances count when you get that many. Leatherland serve, dug out, oh, not dug out as it will be deflected by Miracle. She couldn't handle the serve, and that'll be an ace for Malia Leatherland. Leatherland, the reigning GAC Player of the Year. She won that award in the uh, shortened spring season that was played this past spring. Myers with the set. There's Miracle, Miracle with the attack, dug out by OBU. Poupard with the attack now, and Poupard's attack is a good one. She just kind of flicked it right on over with those fingertips, and it will be point for OBU. Timeout taken by Southern Nazarene head coach Kevin Ingram. I will take the timeout as well with the Crimson Storm trailing in this first set, 13-9. to This is Southern Nazarene Volleyball on the Crimson Sto Storm Sports Network. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University after that timeout taken by Southern Nazarene. The Crimson Storm trail. OBU in this first set now 13-9. OBU on a nice little streak of, uh, four sh of three straight points. Southern Nazarene's also, our OBU is also kind of taking a bit of control in this first set, leading by four right now. Malia Leatherland to serve. 
for OBU out of the timeout. Our golden serve is up. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set to Bachelet. Bachelet with a nice kill. A nice setup right there by Myers. Ellis dug out the serve, and the serve was looking like it might go a little bit long, but Myers did a good job just keeping that ball on their side, of, on the Southern Nazarene side of the net so Bachelet could get the kill. Grace Miracle to serve for the Storm. Miracle serve is dug out by OBU. Ugland with a free ball for Southern Nazarene. Here's Myers with the set. Over to Bachelet. Bachelet, her attack dug out by Southern Nazarene to Poupard. Poupard able to get it up and over the net. And Poupard, she uh, had her shot attempt, or her kill attempt blocked. And then as she tried to put it right back over, she sent it long. So Miracle back to serve. Miracle serve is up. Dug out by OBU. Over to Weber with the attack. Weber's attack is deflected and dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU. And Carranza will send it over. Myers with the set. And Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU. Myers with the attack. Over to Bachelet and Bachelet another attack that's dug out again by OBU. Weber with the attack now for OBU. Dug out by Ellis. Myers with the set. And there's Bowie with the attack. And Bowie's attack is blocked by Poupard. A correction, that was Grimes on the attack. And her attack was blocked by Poupard. As again, the OBU defense showing up right there and keeping Southern Nazarene off the scoreboard. Deanna Carranza to serve for the Bison. Carranza's serve is dug out by Southern Nazarene, and here's a long attack attempt by Miracle. That's dug out, though, by OBU. Redland now on the attack. Redland's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Over to Bachelet. Bachelet's attack is dug out by the Bison. Over to Weber. Weber will attack. Weber's attack, too strong, out of bounds. Ooh, but they're going to call a deflection on Southern Nazarene. And that gets head coach Kevin Ingram out of the, uh, out of the coach's area as he was not happy about that. And now it looks like Miracle will go over to talk to the umpire and try to get a little bit of an explanation. It was the line judge who actually called the deflection. From my vantage point above here, the above the court here, it didn't look like the ball changed trajectory. But you got to uh, take the officials for what they say. It will be OBU point. Carranza to serve again. Carranza served. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Bachelet with the attack. That's blocked. Dug out, though, by Southern Nazarene. There's Ellis with the attack. Ellis' attack dug out. And now it will be Helmuth with the attack. That one's blocked by Southern Nazarene. Over to Weber. Weber with the attack. And that is blocked by Bachelet. A nice block right there. Bachelet, Bailey Grimes combining for the block. And Southern Nazarene trying to end closer. Down by three here in this first set, 15 to 12. Lynch to serve for the Storm. Lynch's serve is up. Dug out by Weber and OBU. Over to Leatherland. Leatherland with the attack. That's deflected and dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here is Ellis. Ellis with the attack. And Ellis with a nice attack as she was able to get that to go. Found the soft spot in the OBU defense. And she brings Southern Nazarene back within two. Lynch to serve. Lynch to serve. Far corner dug out by OBU. Carranza with the bump to Weber with the attack. Weber's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis with the attack. Dug out by OBU. Over to Helmuth. Helmuth's attack is blocked. Back over the net though and it will be out of bounds. It will be OBU point. The Storm got the block there. OBU, though, quickly put it right back over. And the uh, Storm could not handle that second try. Moore serving. Moore served, dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Myers with the bump over to Ellis. Ellis with the attack, trying to find that empty spot, but it's dug out by OBU. Now dug out by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack is a good one. Back over to the net, though, to Ellis, and Ellis with the attack. That one's dug out by, uh, by OBU, and OBU finally able to work it over to Taryn Weber as she is able to get the attack to go.
Timeout taken. Uh, Southern Nazarene will take the timeout, trailing by four, 17-13 here in this first set. I'm going to take a break. You're listening to Southern Nazarene Volleyball on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. At SNU, we recognize the sacrifices made by our nation's veterans and their families. Whether you're looking to move up in the ranks or start a new career, we have degree options and support systems in place that will help you find success during and after college. SNU has a team dedicated to helping you make the most of your VA benefits for education and the post 9-11 GI Bill. Together, we'll find the academic support you need and connect you to support groups in your local community, whether you study on campus or online. Going back to school can be a streamlined, rewarding process. Let us show you how. To learn more, visit pgs.snu.edu slash veterans. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center. First set here as Southern Nazarene trails the OBU Bison by a score of 17 to 13. Looking at some of those stats right now through this part of the first set, Sunny Bachelet leading the way for the uh, for the Crimson Storm. 12 total attacks, two kills. Whitney Bowie actually the most kills for Southern Nazarene so far with three. Avery Helmuth leading the way for OBU with her four kills. Taryn Weber three kills on 10 attacks. Rylan Moore to serve for OBU. Moore serve is up. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack is a good one as uh, Helmuth and Weber tried to go for the block, but the block ended up going out of bounds, giving the Crimson Storm the point. Logan Matthews back to serve for the Storm. Matthews serve is up. Matthews serve dug out by Leatherland. And now here's Weber with the attack for OBU. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Ellis with the attack. That's dug out by OBU. Helmuth with the attack. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Ellis with the attack now for Southern Nazarene. And that is a nice kill right there by Megan Ellis. The way her body was positioned got Leatherland leaning to the right side. And then Ellis was just able to turn that ball into the open court. A nice play by Ellis. Serve from Matthews up, and it was a good serve as Malia Leatherland could not handle that one. As it was a fast serve, and kind of right at chest high, Leatherland could not handle it. Giving Matthews the ace. Southern Nazarene down by one, 17-16. Matthews trying to see if she can tie it up here. Served by Matthews, a nice rainbow serve. Dug out though by OBU. Weber with the attack, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis with the attack to the back line, but dug out by OBU. Helmuth with the attack, and Helmuth's attack is a good one as it goes off the arms of Ellis and out of bounds, so it will be OBU point. Back to serve for OBU, number eight, Kaylin Ina. Ina's serve is up, and it's a low serve dug out, though, by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set, and that is a beautiful kill. Whitney Bowie just putting that ball straight into the floor. A beautiful spike by Bowie. OBU back within one, 18-17 the score. And it will be Ellis to serve. Ellis to serve. Good serve, dug out far by OBU, and now here's Helmuth with the attack. That's blocked. Helmuth gets it back over, and Helmuth is able to get it to fall. So Helmuth was able to get the, after her initial attack was blocked, she was able to get the second try to go, and now Helmuth will serve for the Bison. Helmuth serve, dug out by OB, or by Southern Nazarene. Far side, it's Miracle, and Miracle's attack is a good one as Buell went for the block and just deflected it out of bounds. Southern Nazarene back down by one, 19-18. Whitney Bowie to serve. Bowie's serve is up, and serve is just a bit long as it goes out of bounds. It will be 
ODU point. 2018 in favor of the Bison. Buell to serve. And Buell's serve is up. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Over now to Grimes. Her attack is dug out by OBU. Who part with the attack, and we're going to have a double hit violation on OBU. So OBU called for the double hit. Give Southern Nazarene the point. Brecken Myers to serve for the Storm. Myers serve, dug out by OBU. Here's Brown with the attack. Brown's attack dug out by Myers. Here's Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by Brown. Ball up over, and it will be Leatherland with the attack, and Leatherland's attack is a good one. As Bowie and Bachelet could not combine to get that block. Leatherland to serve. Leatherland serve is up. And that is dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the attack by Ellis. Ellis with a nice attack as it goes out of bounds. As it deflected off the antenna on top of the net. Grace Miracle to serve for Southern Nazarene. Storms down by one, 21-20. Buell with the set over far side. Weather Weber with the attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis with the attack, and Ellis' attack is out of bounds. Looked like that just kind of went off the side the, the side of Ellis' hand. Diana Carranza to serve for OBU of 22-20. Carranza serve dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set, Bachelet with the attack, Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU over far side. Weber with the attack, Weber's attack is a good one as it goes off the outstretched arms of Bachelet and will be deflected out of bounds. Southern Nazarene, or excuse me, OBU now within two points of the set. Carranza's serve is up. Dug out by Southern Nazarene to Myers, Myers to Ellis, Ellis with a nice dig, but, or a nice uh, attack, but it's dug out by OBU. Now Bachelet with the attack, her attack are blocked by OBU, and now back over, and it will be Helmuth with the attack. Helmuth for OBU with the attack. Myers now with the set for the Storm, and it will be Bailey Grimes with the kill. Good job by Grimes sticking with that, and able to get just enough on it to throw it over the net. Madeline Lynch to serve for Southern Nazarene. Lynch's serve, dug out by OBU. Here's Brown with the attack, and Brown's attack is out of bounds. That gives Southern Nazarene the point, and it makes it a one-point set again. Timeout taken by OBU. Southern Nazarene down by one, 23-20. This is Southern Nazarene Volleyball on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Domino's new two-minute guarantee. Order Domino's car side delivery, check in when you arrive, and we'll be headed out the door less than two minutes after it's ready, or your next pizza is free. Nothing will stop us from getting out the door fast. Rain, snow, wind, oh. and uh, wild animals. Carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 and put our two-minute guarantee to the test. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center. Chris Cox here bringing you all of tonight's action between the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm and the OBU Bison. It's been a really good opening set. It looked like OBU might kind of pull away with it. They were up by five earlier in this first set, but Southern Nazarene, they've come storming back. And the Crimson Storm now down by one. Lynch to serve, trying to tie up this set. Lynch to serve is a good one. Dug out by OBU. 
Weber with the attack. Weber's attack is deflected and it falls for the OBU point. Now OBU will have a set point. Number 13, Ryland Moore back to serve for OBU for this set point. Moore serve is up. Dug out by the storm. Myers with the set. Over to Bowie. Bowie with the attack. And Whitney Bowie with the kill. Keeping Southern Nazarene alive in this first set. Heading back to serve for the Crimson Storm. Number one, Logan Matthews. Matthews already with one ace in this one. And Matthews serve. Dug out by OBU. Here's Weber with the attack, and Weber's attack is a good one as it falls, and that'll give Southern Nazarene the first set, 25-23. It was a good first set. Both teams fought hard. OBU just came out on top there in that first set, 25-23. I'm going to take a break, and when I come back, I'll have the second set for you. You're listening to the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A, top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. To me, the A in Chick-fil-A is a smile. I want to give the guests a little encouragement. Maybe just a little joke that makes them laugh when they come through the drive-thru. We can stay six feet apart and have the best air high five. We get it. You want to advance your career, but without a degree, you're stuck. Maybe you were a few courses shy or didn't go at all, but now you want more. It's not too late because at SNU Online, our courses are built for busy adults just like you. We've designed our program so you can log in when it's convenient to you, whether you're at your kid's soccer practice or taking a lunch break at work. With our easy and simple to use online platform, interacting with classmates and professors is a snap. And don't worry, an SNU online degree is the same as if you were face to face. And since our students study one class at a time, you can focus on what matters the most in your life. So don't let others pass you by. Join them and apply today. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. I'm Chris Cox, and in that first set, OBU won the first set 25-23, but it was a really good set by both schools. Southern Nazarene with uh, 15 kills in that first set. OBU had 17. Both teams had five errors. Um, OB, or Southern Nazarene was the more aggressive team. They had 51 total attacks to OBU's 46. Now, the one area where Southern Nazarene needs to pick it up a little bit in the second set is their hitting percentage. Southern Nazarene hit 196 in that uh, first set, which isn't a terrible number. OBU, though, they were uh, they were a little bit better, hitting 261 in that first set. Individually, one of the most impressive uh, players so far tonight for the for the Crimson Storm out of a few has been. Brecken Myers, she's already dished out 14 assists. Sunny Bachelet and Megan Ellis, each with three kills. And then Whitney Bowie, she's been incredibly efficient. Five kills on seven total attacks, and she goes for the for the kill. More often than not, she's getting it tonight. For OBU, their, uh, their main setter, Kaylee Buell, she has 14 assists as well, so she's also been dishing out the ball. Karen Weber and Avery Helmuth each leading the way for uh, for OBU with six attacks, or six kills, I should say, apiece. As we get set to start this second set, both teams getting set and getting the go-ahead from the umpires. And it will be Southern Nazarene serve to start this second set. Back to serve for the Storm, number nine, Brecken Myers. Brecken 
Meyer serve. Dug out by OBU. Far side, it will be Legoland with the attack, and Legoland's attack is a good one as it went off the fingertips of Bachelet and out of bounds, but since Bachelet did touch it, it is OBU's point. Legoland back to serve for the Bison. Legoland serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet with the attack, and Bachelet with a nice attack as she is able to get the kill. Sunny Bachelet with a nice kill. That's her fourth on the night. Grace Miracle to serve. And Miracle serve is just long. Malia Leverland and Deanna Carranz on that back line for OBU both kind of watched the ball. I think they were both kind of wondering, is the other girl going to get it? But that ball went just a bit long. Here's Carranza. Carranza served, dug out by the Storm. Myers with the set, Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack, dug out by OBU. Leveland though, able to track it down and it will be Carranza trying to poke it over. Can't get it to go as it hit the net. And it will be Southern Nazarene point. Madeline Lynch to serve for the Storm. to serve is dug out by Weber and now it will be Brown on the attack and Brown gets the kill Buell set her up nicely and Brown just went right down the lane there and was able to get it to go Ryland Moore to serve for OBU Moore serve Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU. OBU with the attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Bowie with the attack. And Bowie's attack is a good one again. Whitney Bowie continuing her really strong play tonight. That is now six kills on eight attacks for Whitney Bowie. Matthews to serve now for Southern Nazarene. All tied at three apiece here in this second set. Weber with the dig for OBU. Now Weber will go for the attack after the set. That attack though dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis with the attack. Ellis's attack dug out. And we have a... It's going to be out of bounds on Ellis. I think they're saying her attack clipped the, uh, clipped the antenna. So side out and serve to OBU. Kayla and Ina to serve. Ina, a sophomore from Grand Prairie, Texas. Ina serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers to Ellis. Ellis with a great attack. And Ellis able to get the kill as she just put everything she had into that one. And it got Carranza leaning, and Carranza just could not handle it. Ellis to serve. Ellis to serve, dug out by OBU. Buell with the set to Leatherland. Leatherland with the attack, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet, or excuse me, that was Bowie with the bump over to Miracle with the attack. It's dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the attack, and Leatherland's attack is too strong. Out of bounds, it will be Southern Nazarene point. That miss by Leatherland. Gives the Storm their first lead in this second set, and Ellis back to serve again. Ellis' to serve is up and dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the attack. Leatherland's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the bump, and there's Bowie with the attack. Bowie's attack dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the attack. That's dug out by Southern Nazarene. Ellis to Bowie. Bowie had it blocked, and it will be... Southern Naz it will be OBU point as they're calling they're calling three hits right there on Southern Nazarene, which or four hits I should say on Southern Nazarene, but the ball was blocked over the net, so it should have reset them. I'm not sure what the call was for that, but the Southern Nazarene players were not happy about that call. 
Here's Miracle with the attack. That's dug out by OBU. Over to Buell. Buell will just flick it over. And Buell is able to get it to go. Assistant coach Nikki Deball right now handling a lot of the coaching duties for the girls on the floor as Kevin Ingram walking down the sideline talking to a handful of his girls who might be getting ready to come in. Here's the attack by Miracle. Miracle had a dugout though and Poupard with the attack for OBU and Poupard with a nice attack by OBU. And that goes for the kill and it will be Bison Point. So right after Southern Nazarene grabbed a 5-4 lead, OBU is Storm back with three straight points to take a two-point lead. There's Myers. Myers over to Miracle. Miracle with the free ball for OBU. Buell with the set to Leatherland. Leatherland with the attack, and Leatherland gets the attack to go. Leatherland with the cross-court attack, finding that spot in between the front line and back line. And that will force Kevin Ingram to take a timeout. Southern Nazarene down 8 to 5 here in this second set to the OBU Bison. I'll be back in just a minute. This is the Crimson Storm Sports Network. We get it. You want to advance your career, but without a degree, you're stuck. Maybe you were a few courses shy or didn't go at all, but now you want more. It's not too late. Because at SNU Online, our courses are built for busy adults just like you. We've designed our program so you can log in when it's convenient to you, whether you're at your kid's soccer practice or taking a lunch break at work. With our easy and simple to use online platform, interacting with classmates and professors is a snap. And don't worry, an SNU online degree is the same as if you were face-to-face. -face. And since our students study one class at a time, you can focus on what matters the most in your life. So don't let others pass you by. Join them and apply today. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center. OBU serving and it is Helmuth with the serve. Helmuth serve. Oh, clips the net tape and falls over for the ace. Ellis was in a, looked to be in pretty good position, but when the ball clipped the net cord, the loose cords on volleyball nets just uh, allowed it to fall right over. There's the dig by Southern Nazarene and Myers tried to go with the little trick shot and flick it over, but Pupari was there for the block. OBU now six straight points as they lead 10 to 5. Helmuth with the serve, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Over to Miracle. Miracle with the attack, dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the attack. Leatherland's attack is blocked. Whitney Bowie with the block. And that got the students up and excited here inside the Sawyer Center. It also got the uh, Southern Nazarene bench excited. And Bowie, after that big block, will now go back to serve. Stopping a string of six straight points by OBU. Here's Leatherland with the attack. It's dug out, though, by the Storm. Ellis, a correction, that is a miracle with the attack. Blocked and dug out now by Southern Nazarene again. And there's Bowie, and Bowie's attack just outside as she could not get it to fall. It was a long attack attempt by Bowie. And I think she just might have jumped a little too soon as that ball was a little out in front of her. Or a little too late as that ball was still a little out in front of her when she tried to swing. Buell with the serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene to Myers. Myers to Miracle. Miracle with the attack. It's blocked. Dug out by Southern Nazarene again. Here is Grimes. Grimes with the, dig, or Grimes with the kill. As ODU could not get the dig after that Grimes attempt. The, uh, the Grimes attack was Partially blocked, and it stayed inbounds by OBU, but Bison unable to dig it out. So point goes to Southern Nazarene. Brecken Myers will serve. Myers, a little bit of a rainbow serve, dug out by OBU. Poupard with the attack, and Poupard's attack is a good one. As she gets the kill, Madeline Lynch could not really handle it. All, all she could really do is just kind of stick out that wide arm. And when she did, it just skidded right off her forearm and out of bounds. 
Malia Leverland to serve for the Bison. Leverland, her serve dug out. Myers with the set. To Bachelet, her attack is blocked. Back over though, and it will be Southern Nazarene again on the attack. It's Ellis. Now Poupard with the attack, and Poupard's attack for OBU is a good one. As again, it went off the deflection of Southern Nazarene, and it will be OBU point. OBU getting a wet spot cleaned up. As Leverland gets set to serve. Bison up 13 to 7. That serve dug out by Southern Nazarene, and there is Ellis with the attack, and Ellis's attack, is, or excuse me, Grimes' attack is blocked by OBU. Leveland serving again, but first we will have a timeout taken by Southern Nazarene as they take their second and final timeout of this second set. I'll take the timeout as well. Southern Nazarene down 14 to 7 here on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center as the Crimson Storm break their huddle after that timeout. Southern Nazarene down 14 to 7 here in this second set of play. It's been a really strong second set for Southern Nazarene. Oh, excuse me, for OBU. The Crimson Storm led 5 to 4, but since then it's been a 10-2 run for OBU. Malia Leveland to serve. Leveland served, dug out by. Or Southern Nazarene. There's Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU and Poupard now with the attack for OBU and Poupard able to get the kill. Sixth kill on the night for Audrey Poupard. Ties her with Avery Helmuth and Taryn Weber for most on the uh, on the Bison tonight. Correction, that's just the uh, fifth kill by Poupard. Served by Leverland. Dug out by the Crimson Storm. But they're unable to do much with it as they have to give OBU a free ball. There's Brown with the attack. Brown's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene over far side. Miracle with the attack, and Miracle's attack is good. Grace Miracle with a nice attack going cross court and just finding that empty spot between the front and the back lines. Tatum Smith to serve for the Crimson Storm. Her first action tonight. Smith served, dug out by OBU. Will the Brown. Brown with the attack, and that's dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Ellis. Her attack is blocked, but dug out by Southern Nazarene again. Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack is dug out. Poupard with the attack for OBU, and Poupard with a nice attack right at the feet of Tatum Smith, and Smith just could not get underneath it enough. 16-8 in favor of OBU here in the second set. Bianca Carranza to serve, and Carranza's serve is dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the set by the Storm, and it will be Bailey Grimes with the kill for the Storm. A nice set by Brecken Myers, and Grimes was able to get the kill. Adeline Lynch to serve. Lynch's serve is up. Which is served, dug out. Buell with the set. Weber with the attack for OBU, and Weber's attack is a good one as Bachelet and Bowie could not get the block, and the ball was deflected out of bounds for the OBU point. OBU out of timeouts here in this second set. 
Rylan Moore serving for the Bison. Rylan Moore serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet with the attack. And Bachelet's attack is out of bounds. Tried to go down the line. Could not get it to go. And it will be a blue point. Moore back to serve again. Moore serve. Dug out as a short serve. And Southern Nazarene scrambling a bit, but Ellis gets the attack. Ellis over the net. Now it will be OBU. Just a little poke shot over the net. Bowie with the attack. Dug out by OBU. Weber with the attack going cross court. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Ellis, and Ellis not touching the net, but OBU has to give a free ball. Or Southern Nazarene gives OBU a free ball. And Weber, her attack dug out. Another free ball by Southern Nazarene to OBU. Buell with the set, and it will be Helmuth with the attack. Helmuth's attack is blocked. And now here's Buell with the attack, and that one's out again. And oh, this time, Southern Nazarene just cannot keep up with the ball as the offensive attacks from OBU just had Southern Nazarene scrambling there a bit. And Southern Nazarene did a good job just dealing with a couple of those attacks by, by OBU, but unable to really get on the offensive there in that point as they were scrambling pretty much from the uh, from the opening serve. OBU after a couple of girls dove on the ground, wiping up a little bit of sweat here on the floor. And will be Moore getting set to serve. Moore to serve. Chantal Demirjian, by the way, has checked in for Southern Nazarene. Dug out by Southern Nazarene, and there's Bowie, and Bowie is able to get the kill. Brecken Meyer set her up, and Whitney Bowie able to get the kill to go. 19-10 the score. Logan Matthews back to serve for the Storm. Out attack by Bowie, her seventh. Uh, the uh, kill by Bowie, I should say, is the seventh of the night for her. That's the 21st assist by Brecken Myers. Coming off a 46 assist game and her, la her last match out against Southeastern. There's the serve. Maybe you scrambling a bit, but Weber with the attack, and Weber's attack is a good one. As Bowie could not get the block, and it deflected off her hands and out of bounds. Kaylin Ina back to serve for the Bison. They'll be up 20 to 10. They've taken control here of this second set. The serve is dug out. There's Ellis. Ellis to Demirjian and Demirjian. Able, she hit the net and they did not call it. I'm not sure why at that point was not called. As Demirjian slipped into the net, but Leatherland with the attack and Leatherland's attack is. A good one as OBU tried, or Southern Nazarene, I should say, tried to flick it over and could not get it to go. Coach Anna Howell during that play for OBU was wondering why the point wasn't stopped. I mean, you touch the net and it is the other team's point in Demirjian clearly as she was trying to get that dig slipped and hit the net. And it happened right underneath the, uh, the umpire there who's standing up on the ladder. I'm surprised that they did not call that. It will be OBU's serve once we get back to action here as both teams were cleaning up a little bit of sweat that got on the floor. Bison leading the second set 21 to 10. Here's Ina to serve. Trying to make sure everybody's all set up. As we do have another sub coming in for Southern Nazarene. This time it's number three, Kaylee Brubaker. Her first action of the night. 5'9 freshman out of Fort Worth. And now it looks like we're going to get a sub for OBU. As number 20, Dierica Frierson is about to check in. 
Fireson hasn't played much for OBU. This will just be her 13th set appearance this season. Brew Baker plays a little more frequently for the Storm. She's appeared now in 34 sets. And now it looks like we are set to go. As again, it will be Kayla and I in the serving. We'll be leading the second set 21 to 10. Ina served, dug out by the Storm. There's Bowie with the attack. Bowie's attack dug out. And there's an attack by, look like Helmuth, and Helmuth just sent it a bit long and it went out of bounds, so it will be Southern Nazarene point. A couple other subs out of the game for Southern Nazarene. Tessa Henry has checked in, also checking in. JC Brazil. And Megan Ellis back to serve. So Megan Ellis to serve. Ellis to serve. Dug out by OBU. There's the attack by the Bison. And that was Dierica Frierson. Just a nice little easy kill for Frierson as Southern Nazarene left the uh, far front corner of the, or the, excuse me, the near side front corner of the court, just wide open. OBU right now doubling up Southern Nazarene, 22-11 here in this second set. It will be Helmut to serve. Helmut serve. Clips the net tape and falls, and it will be an ace for Avery Helmut. That's the second time tonight she's been able to find that net cord and get the ace. Helmut served, dug out by the Storm. And there's a nice attack by Tessa Henry, and Henry is able to get the kill. Tessa Henry, the six-foot freshman from Waxahachie, Texas, with a big kill right there. Whitney Bowie to serve. Bowie served, dug out by OBU. Buell with the set over far side to Frierson. Frierson's attack is blocked. That will be Frierson again. Blocked again though. And Southern Nazarene with the point after that second block. OBU really could never control the ball. And it ended up being a four-touch violation on the Bison. Bowie to serve. Bowie serve. Is a good one. Frierson with the attack. Frierson's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the attack by Henry, and Henry is able to get the kill. Our correction, that was, uh, that was blocked, and it will be OBU's point. So OBU now with the set point, and it will be Kaylee Buell to serve for this set point. Kaylee Buell with the set point. A long serve dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Henry with the attack, and Henry's attack is into the net, and that will do it for the second set, as the Bison claim the second set 25-13. I'm going to take a break. When I come back, I'll have the third set for you, as Southern Nazarene tries to keep this match alive. You're listening to the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Friends, family, alumni, and supporters of Southern Nazarene University, we come to you today as representatives from the Student Athletic Advisory Committee. We're a student leadership group on campus with representatives from each of our NCAA sports. As SAC members, we are the elected voices of our teams to our administration. We are coming to you to ask for your help for a special project. By the end of this year, SNU will have had over 200 student athletes graduate within the past four years. Receiving a degree while balancing the demands of being a student athlete means working diligently to be successful as a student and representative for our school and the kingdom. This year, as a student group, we decided to ask our department to assist us in creating a fundraising campaign that would generate enough money so that each student athlete who will graduate this May and next year could receive a stole to commemorate their time at SNU playing for the Crimson Storm. We want to say thank you to our graduating seniors who have represented our university well on and off our respective stages and throughout the community. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you for supporting SNU Athletics. Thank you for supporting your Crimson Storm. Thank you. Thank you for all your support.
Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. I'm Chris Cox, and as we get set to start this third set of action here, it is OBU leading in Southern Nazarene, two sets to nine. That second set was all OBU, as you would imagine, winning that second set 25-13. The Bison in that second set, 30 kills. Southern Nazarene just 23 kills. The uh, Storm also had 14 errors on the attack, and they had, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see, 14 attack errors, like I said, and... In that, uh, correction, that's throughout the game, but eight, uh, nine attack errors in that second set did the uh, did the Crimson Storm. So, Southern Nazarene to, to extend this match at least another set will need to clean things up here in the third. Leading the way for the uh, for the Crimson Storm, Rooney Bowie with seven kills on the night. Brecken Myers 21 assists for the for the Crimson Storm. Leading the way for OBU is Taryn Weber. She has eight kills on the night. Audrey Poupard with seven. And then Kaylee Buell with 25 assists for the Bison. Both teams getting set here to start this third set. Making sure everybody's all lined up like they need to be. As it will be number 10, Madeline Lynch. The libero checking in now for the Bison. Or for the uh, Crimson Storm, excuse me. The libero, Deanna Carranza, checking in for the Bison as well. And it will be OBU serve to start this third set. OBU swept both matches last season. By last season, I mean that spring season. Winning both of those two sets, or three sets to none. There's the attack by Southern Nazarene, and that attack is long as Grace Miracle sent that a little long, and it will be the first point to OBU. Leatherland back to serve. Leatherland serve is up, and that serve goes long, out of bounds. It will be Southern Nazarene point. Grace Miracle back to serve for the Storm. Miracle serve is up. It's dug out by Colanza. Leatherland with the attack for OBU, and Leatherland's attack is too strong, out of bounds. So two straight points for Southern Nazarene as they take an early 2-1 lead here in this third set. Miracle to serve. Miracle serve, dug out by OBU. Brown with the attack, Brown's attack, dug out, but over the net. Brown with another attack, dug out again by Southern Nazarene. Bachelet now with the attack. Bachelet's attack is dug out by OBU. Here's Carranza with the free ball, and that free ball too strong out of bounds. It will be Southern Nazarene points. The Crimson Storm starting this third set off strong, taking the or three of the first four points. Up three to one, and it is Miracle to serve. Miracle serve is deflect or is uh, dug out and it will be Brown with the attack. Brown's attack is dug out and over the net by Southern Nazarene. Now Brown with the attack again. Again dug out. Myers with the set and there is the attack by Grimes and Grimes ended up putting that ball into the net and so it will be OBU point. Carranza the serve for OBU. Carranza the serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Myers. Myers with the, uh, the Bachelet. And Bachelet with the attack. And Bachelet with the big kill. Southern Nazarene continues their hot start now to this third set, leading 4-2. to two. And it will be Madeline Lynch to serve for the Storm. Lynch's serve is too strong out of bounds. It will be OBU serve now as Ryland Moore checks in for the Bison. She will go back to serve. So Ryland Moore to serve. Moore serve is an ace as it went to the feet of Ellis and Ellis just could not get down far enough to dig that one out. 
Moore serving again. Moore serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU. Helmet with the attack, and that is blocked. Bowie with the block right there for the storm. A couple subs coming into the game for Southern Nazarene. As Tessa Henry will check in. Also checking in number three, Kaylee Brubaker. Brubaker back to serve. So Brubaker back to serve. Brubaker served, dug out by OBU. Weber with the attack. Weber's attack is dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Ellis with the attack. That's dug out by OBU. Weber another attack. And her attack goes off the fingertips of the uh, Storm players and out of bounds for the OBU point. So OBU tying it up at five apiece now. Kaylin uh, Ina serving for the Bison, and Ina serve, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Ellis with the attack, and Ellis with a big attack right there, a nice setup by Kaylee Brubaker. She delivered a really nice set, and Ellis just rifled that one toward the OBU side of the floor. Storm back up by one, six to five. Served by Ellis. It was a long serve dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the attack. Leatherland's attack is a good one out of bounds, and it will be OBU point. Leatherland's attack off the arms of Brubaker. Brubaker just could not control that hard shot by Leatherland. Elmuth to serve for OBU. Elmuth serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Miracle with the attack. Miracle's attack dug out by OBU. Over to Poupard. Poupard with the attack. That's bumped over the net, though. Back to OBU. Leatherland with the attack. Leatherland's attack is blocked and dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Ellis over the net. Dug out by OBU. Buell with the uh, little scoop shot over the net, and Buell is able to get it to go. Ryland Moore bumped it to her, and Buell, who's already dished out 27 assists on the night, I think the Crimson Thorn players were expecting her to do that again, and so she just flicked it over, and that will be an OBU point. Helmuth with the serve. Serve is dug out. And Miracle now with the attack, and Miracle went off the heel of her hand and into the net. It will be another OBU point as the Bison now lead this third set 8-6. to six. Three straight points by OBU. There's Bowie with the attack. Bowie's attack dug out by OBU. Now to Poupard with the attack. That's dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's a long attack by Ellis. Dug out by OBU. Leatherland with the cross-court attack. And that one is a good one as Leatherland kills it for OBU. Leatherland, the reigning GAC player of the year, showing her skills right there. As we have a sub coming into the game for the Storm. Number 14, Chantal Demirjian checks in for the Storm. Demirjian, a junior of Las Vegas, Nevada. Helmuth with the serve. That's dug out by OBU. Demirjian with the attack, and Demirjian's attack. We are going to have a, uh, a net violation actually called against OBU. So a net violation called against the against the Bison, and it will be Whitney Bowie to serve for the Storm. Bowie serve, dug out by OBU, over to Buell. Buell now to Poupard, and Poupard will get the kill for OBU. Poupard's been very efficient on the attack tonight, hitting 636. Eight kills for Poupard to just one attack error. Kaylee Buell to serve for OBU as the Bison now leads 7-10 in this third set. Ellis with the dig. There's the attack by Grimes. And that attack was blocked and then Demirjian couldn't handle the block. 
as it went off of her arms and out of bounds for the OBU point. Buell serving. Buell served, dug out by the storm. It will be Henry with the attack, and Henry's attack is blocked for the OBU point. Looked like that was Maria Leverand and Audrey Poupard combining for the block. And a timeout taken by Kevin Ingram and the Crimson Storm. I'll take the timeout as well with Southern Nazarene down 12 to 7 here on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Introducing Domino's new two-minute guarantee. Order Domino's car side delivery, check in when you arrive, and we'll be headed out the door less than two minutes after it's ready, or your next pizza is free. Nothing will stop us from getting out the door fast. Rain, snow, wind, oh. and uh, wild animals. Carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 and put our two-minute guarantee to the test. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. In this third set, Southern Nazarene trailing the 18th ranked OBU Bison 12 to 7. OBU after a, a first, a really tight first set, OBU's taking control of this match, winning that second set easily, and right now controlling this third set 12 to 7. The Bison worthy preseason favorites to win the GAC. Right now they uh, sit in third place in the GAC. But they are looking every bit like the favorites here tonight. Demirjian with the attack for Southern Nazarene. As Legoland is able to get the attack for OBU, and Legoland is able to get it to go. Demirjian had a really good attack, but it was dug out by Ina. Ina just playing defense and just getting the ball up in the air, and that eventually set up Legoland for the attack. There's the serve by Buell and OBU. Demirjian now with the attack for Southern Nazarene, and that attack is blocked, but the block goes out of bounds for the Southern Nazarene point. So Chantal Demirjian with the kill, and the Storm climb back within five. Back to serve for the Storm. Number nine, Brecken Myers. Bachelet also checked back in for the Storm. Buell to Brown. Brown with the attack, and that's dug out. Over to Demirjian. Demirjian's attack dug out by OBU. Brown with the attack again. Dug out over the net. Carranza with the with the bump. Over now to Poupard. Poupard with the kill, and Poupard is able to get the kill. As Poupard put right put that ball right at the head of Brick and Myers. And Myers, it was all she could do just to get her hands up and keep it from hitting her in the face. Leatherland to serve. Leatherland serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Demirjian with the attack, and Demirjian's attack goes off the outstretched arms of Poupard and out of bounds, so it will be a Southern Nazarene point. Storm back within five, 14 to nine. Tatum Smith to serve. As Demirjian checks out, Smith comes in. Smith serve, a low serve, but dug out by OBU over the net. There's the attack by Ellis, and Ellis is able to get the kill. A great job by Megan Ellis. On the alert there as uh, Malia Leatherland's service return ended up going over the net, which she didn't intend on happening, and Ellis just right there to kill that point. And there's Tatum Smith as she benefits from the loose net courts here inside the Sawyer Center as Ellis able to get the ace. Southern Nazarene back within three, 14-11. Here's Smith waiting to serve. As again, cleaning up a couple of wet spots on the OBU side of the floor. Making sure everybody's good to go and it looks like we are set to get to action here. As Smith is set to serve. Smith serve, dug out by OBU. Buell with the set. To Leatherland with the attack. Leatherland's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set. Over to Grimes. Grimes with the attack, and that one's dug out 
Now to Weber. Weber's attack dug out by Ellis. Over to Myers. To Bachelet. And Bachelet's attack is blocked. And it will be OBU point. Audrey Poupard was there for the block. As the Bison now back up by 4, 15-11. Deanna Carranza to serve. Carranza serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's Grimes with the attack. That one's blocked. Now Bachelet with the attack. And that one is going to be too long. Out of bounds. It will be OBU point. Deanna Carranza to serve for the Bison. Carranza waiting for the go ahead. And has it. Carranza with the serve and that's dug out by Southern Nazarene. Ellis with the attack dug out by OBU. Over to Buell. Buell to Helmuth. Helmuth with the attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Bachelet with the attack. Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU now. That ball's flipped over by OBU, and now here's another attack attempt by Bachelet, and Bachelet's attack dug out by OBU again. Weber with the attack for the Bison, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Ellis with the set. Now to, oh, excuse me, that was Myers to Ellis, and Ellis's kill was the uh, block attempt ended up going out of bounds, so Megan Ellis gets the kill for the Crimson Storm. Good job by Southern Nazarene to stick with it there and withstand the uh, defense of OBU and just keep making things happen. Lynch to serve. Lynch to serve is up. Over to Leatherland. Leatherland didn't handle it very well. Weber just pokes it over now. And there's the attack by Ellis. Ellis' attack though dug out by OBU. Weber with the attack for OBU and we have a two hit violation called on the Bison. So a two-hit violation called on the Bison makes it a three-point game. 16-13. In favor of OBU, but it is Southern Nazarene serve. Nice serve dug out though by OBU. Here's Brown with the attack, and Brown's attack is blocked. OBU does a good job though getting it over. Myers with the set. Bachelet with the attack, and Bachelet's attack is a good one. As Leatherland hit the deck hard right there as she tried to... Uh, Scamper toward the ball, just lost her footing. OBU gets, or excuse me, Southern Nazarene gets the point, and the Crimson Storm within two here in this third set. OBU won the first two sets. Crimson Storm trying to stay alive here in this third. Getting set to serve for the Crimson Storm, number 10, Madeline Lynch. As we have another delay for OBU to wipe up some sweat. And now we get back to action as Madeline Lynch gets set to serve. Lynch's serve goes cross court. Weber with the dig. Weber with the attack now for OBU, and Weber's attack is a good one. As Weber's attack went off the outstretched arms of Southern Nazarene, and it will be OBU point. OBU coaches, or Southern Nazarene coaches, were arguing that it was a violation, but no whistle, and it will be Bison point. More to serve, more serve dug out by Southern Nazarene. Myers with the set to Bachelet, and Bachelet gets the kill. Sonny Bachelet with a big kill right there for the, by, uh, for the uh, Crimson Storm. 17-15 to score. Crimson Storm hanging in there as Kaylee Brubaker gets set to serve. Brubaker checked into the game. For the, uh, for the Crimson Storm along with number 13, Tessa Henry. Tatum Smith also in the game for the Crimson Storm. Brecken Myers now 26 assists on the night. She had that hot start in that first set with 14 assists. Kind of has uh, come back to earth a little bit with just 12 assists since then. But still a 26 assist night is uh, nothing to shake your head at. 
Lynch has played really good defense for the uh, for the Crimson Storm. She's, she has 14 digs tonight. Bowie, Bachelet, and Ellis all leading the way with seven kills. There's a serve by Southern Nazarene. Helmuth with the attack for OBU, and that attack is too strong, out of bounds. And Southern Nazarene back within a point here in this third set. Brubaker to serve. Brubaker. Serves. Goes to the back line, and that is just a bit strong out of bounds. As Maria Leatherland at the last second decided to duck out of the way. And the ball went out of bounds for the OBU point. Kayla Nine is served for OBU. Ina serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the attack by number 13, Tessa Henry. And Henry, the freshman, she gets the crowd excited. As Henry must have a, a pretty good cheering section here. And also, again, that brings it within one point for the Storm. Ellis to serve. Ellis to serve. Dug out by OBU. Buell with the set to Leatherland. Leatherland with the attack, and her attack is out of bounds. Assistant coach Nikki Dieball tried or Nikki Dieball tried to tried to play that off her clipboard. Unfortunately, she is out of bounds and unable to play. Avery Helmuth back serving for the Bison. OBU up 19-17 in this third set. As we have a violation called on on Southern Nazarene, as they're going to say Southern Nazarene made an illegal hit. Coach Kevin Ingram not happy with that. And so he's going to take a timeout. I believe this is his second timeout of this third set. So final timeout taken with Southern Nazarene down 20-17 to 17 here on the Crimson Storm Sports Network. Welcome back inside the Sawyer Center as Southern Nazarene trails the OBU Bison 20 to 17 here in this third set. OBU on the first two sets, so Southern Nazarene trying to stay alive. And it is OBU serving though, up by three in this third set. Avery Helmuth to serve for the Bison. Helmuth serve is up. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. There's the attack by Demirjan. Demirjan, her attack dug out by OBU. Over to Leatherland. Leatherland's attack is a good one as it hits the floor. And it will be OBU point, bringing OBU four, or within four of the match. Madeline Lynch tried to get her hand down there and kind of put a flat palm on the, on the floor to dig that ball out. Unfortunately, she just couldn't get underneath it. There's Henry with the attack, and Tessa Henry with another kill. Tessa Henry, a big kill. She has come up strong off the bench for the Crimson Storm. Henry with three kills off the bench for Southern Nazarene, and now Whitney Bowie to serve. Bowie served, dug out by Southern Nazarene. Poupard with the attack, and Poupard's attack is a good one, as Southern Nazarene could not control the block. And OBU goes back up by four in this third set, 22-18. Will be Buell to serve. Buell serve. Dug out by DeMarjan. 
Now DeMargin will go for the attack, and DeMargin's attack dug out by OBU. Far side for Brown. Brown's attack is a good one as it hits the floor, and it will be OBU point. OBU now two points from the match of 23-18. Buell serve, dug out by Southern Nazarene over far side for Grimes, and that is going to be too strong out of bounds. It will be OBU point, and it will be match point upcoming now for OBU. Buell to serve. Buell serve. Dug out by Southern Nazarene. Here's Demirjan with the attack. Demirjan's attack dug out by Southern Nazarene. Or by OBU, excuse me, now Southern Nazarene on the attack. And Grimes able to flip it over the outstretched arms of the OBU blockers and get the point to go. So Southern Nazarene trying to stay alive. And it will be Brecken Meyer serving for Southern Nazarene. Myers to serve, trying to keep this match alive. Myers served, dug out by OBU. Over to Buell. Buell to Brown. Brown with the kill or with the attack, and that attack is out of bounds. It will be Southern Nazarene point, so the Crimson Storm staying alive. Myers serving again. Myers serve. Dug out by OBU. And now it will be a block by... Nope, Southern Nazarene could not get the block. And that'll be a, uh, a kill for Tania Brown. And that will do it for this one. As uh, Southern Nazarene falls to OBU. Three sets to none. Losing in that third set, 25 to 20. It was a hard-fought match. The two, the two schools really matched up really well against each other in that first set. Played a solid third set against each other, too. That second set, though, happened to just be all OBU, but a very tough match. Southern Nazarene knew going into this one it was going to take their best effort. Southern Nazarene gave a great effort tonight. It was just not quite enough as, uh, as OBU proved their, uh, proved their skill and ability and proved why they're the 18th-ranked team in the nation as they, again, beat... Like I said, beat Southern Nazarene three sets to none. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those numbers for you. First off, for those team numbers, throughout the uh, entire match, OBU led the way in kills with 43 kills to Southern Nazarene's 35. OBU very efficient on the attack, only 14 errors. Southern Nazarene 22 errors as uh, OBU hit 252 for the match. Southern Nazarene hit just 104. OBU 43 assists, Southern Nazarene with 34 assists. Four aces for OBU to two for Southern Nazarene. OBU also 16 blocks, uh, 16 blocks to go to uh, Southern Nazarene's eight blocks. Looking at some of those individual numbers now for the uh, OBU Bison leading the way in terms of kills. Audrey Pupar, Taryn Weber each with 10. Malia Leatherland with nine on the, uh, on the night. Kaylee Buell leading the way with assists, 35 assists for Buell. Malia Leatherland also leading the way defensively for the Bison with 16 digs. For the uh, Crimson Storm, Sunny Bachelet, Megan Ellis, and Whitney Bowie, each with seven kills on the night. Uh, Grimes ended up with uh, five for the uh, for the Crimson Storm as well. Brecken Myers leading uh, a sister for Southern Nazarene. She had 26 assists. She uh, and then uh, Madeline Lynch led the way with uh, 14 digs for the for the Crimson Storm. Also uh, with a lot of digs for Crim for Southern Nazarene tonight was Megan Ellis who had 11, Brecken Myers had 10, and Grace Miracle also had 10. So Southern Nazarene falls tonight to the uh, OBU Bison. Southern Nazarene will fall to 4-7 and seven overall. They will fall to 0-4 oh and four in conference play. OBU improves to 9-2 and two overall and to 3-1 uh, and one in district play. Up next for Southern Nazarene will be a road date on Thursday as the Crimson Storm will travel to Weatherford, I believe, to take on Southwestern Oklahoma State. Our next broadcast here on the Crimson Storm Sports Network will be on October 5th, that is next Tuesday, as the Crimson Storm welcome in Cameron from Lawton. So again, that's going to do it for us tonight as the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm fall to the OBU Bison three sets to none. Thanks again for listening. I'm Chris Cox. I will be back on October 5th when the Crimson Storm gets set to take on Cameron. You've been watching the Crimson Storm Sports Network.